got one more problem with you, girl. Hey. and welcome back so um this is a chat chit chat haul kind of um i'm back kind of video um i haven't um uploaded anything lately because i've just had a lot going on in my life that's kind of consumed me and i just haven't been in the mood or had the time really to upload anything and i wasn't too sure if i was going to continue but i definitely am it's what i love doing and it's what i want to do so i am here and i'm going to continue making videos and I've been in Queensland for about six, almost a week, I think it's six days or something, a week, I don't know. But I've been in Queensland for a couple of days visiting my family, surprised to my grandma for Mother's Day with my mum. And yeah, and just seeing friends and family and hanging out and stuff. If you follow me on Instagram or on Facebook or anything like that, um, you would see like um, photos and whatnot. And um, yeah, I just really want to apologise that I haven't had anything up and I haven't had anything on my blog either. Um... So yeah, so I'm back and I'm going to be getting back into the swing of filming again and getting more videos up for you. I have um, some really, really good eye looks coming up for you guys. Well, I think they're good because I love them. But anyway, um, I just want to quickly um, say I'm sorry about my fake tanned hands. Um, I left my mitt somewhere. I don't know where I've left it, but I've left it behind somewhere. I can't find it and I really wanted to get a fake tan because I'm so pale um so i wanted to get a fake tan so i just used my hands but usually um when i use my hands i can get it off like straight away but it's kind of like just not but like it's not even like the same color i just don't even know so sorry about my black hands um and i really just want to quickly add in about my instagram um as you maybe would have should have picked up on that um i keep changing my instagram name because i'm just trying to find a instagram name that fits um my blogging and youtubing and whatnot um I'm not going to be making a second Instagram for um, my makeup and my channel. Um, I'm just going to have one Instagram. So at the moment it's Amber Lorraine XX. I think there's two X's. Um, and that's what it's going to be from now on. Um, it's just, um, I'm going to be posting, um, it's just going to be my main Instagram. But I'm not going to have a second Instagram. It's just going to be my personal and my beauty Instagram all in one. Um, I, yeah, I don't really want to make a second Instagram. Um, so yeah. So, yeah, I'm really sorry about the confusion with my Instagram names and whatnot. I hope I didn't confuse anyone out there. I'm just going to jump in. I'm quickly just going to add something. Um, I just really want to thank um, Jen and Lauren. Um, they um, were there for me when um, I just had a lot going on and um, Lauren was always messaging me, making sure I was okay, um, or just always there for me. They are such great people. Um, I wanted to just add this in because I already did an Instagram post thanking them but I wanted to include it in my video and just to thank you guys so much um, for your support. Um, it means a lot to me. Um, yeah, just thank you for being there and I can't wait to meet you at IMATS. Um, I'm super, super excited. So Jen and Lauren um, sent me some little goodies just to make me feel better or a bit happier and a way to make a girlfriend happier or get her out of a funk is always makeup like if you you really didn't have to get me what you've got me like one product would have been just made my whole month better but you have just gone be up and beyond um definitely follow them on on youtube on instagram follow them on twitter i'll have everything linked below where you can find them they are amazing girls um yeah just thank you so much um I can't wait to meet you's and I have a package going to Lauren which is for both, there'll be stuff in there for both of and I really hope you guys enjoy it. So they got me six lipsticks, um, I just can't believe I've got these lipsticks, I've been, these have been on my list to get and I haven't gotten them yet but they've been on my list and oh my god I always can't explain how thankful I am for these, these have just made me the happiest person alive. So I'm just going to go through each one, I'm going to start off with the one that I have my, on my lips today and this is just the Pout About It lip colour from Sports Girl in 
Dark Angel. I love this. This um, reminds me of a Rebel from MAC. Um, when I was in Queensland, the first day I got there, me and my friend went to the MAC store in Rabina Town Centre, Shopping Town Centre, whatever it's called. And we just went in there because she wanted to... She got the wrong concealer or something and she just wanted to find out what concealer she should have gotten. And we were there for like two hours and we got like our makeup done. I got to try a Rebel. Um, she brought a blush and a concealer. I didn't buy anything um, because I was just trying to hold out for eye mats. Um, because if I buy something now I'm going to ruin it when I go to eye mats and not... Yeah, I just want to wait till eye mats. So this colour reminds me a lot of Rebel. Um, I love, 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 love Rebel. Um, I have excuse my hands. I haven't been able to buy Rebel because I want to wait for eye mats because I feel like it's going to be a lot cheaper. And we're talking to the girl there. She was super, super nice. We were there for two hours just laughing and whatnot. Um, yeah, we were there for two hours and she was just letting us know that eye mats MAC should have between, I think it was 20 to 30% off. Um, so I'm definitely going to be picking up Rebel then. So this one was the Dark Angel from Sports Girl. Um, I definitely think this is a dupe for Rebel. Um, the next one are the three colour injects from Australis. I already have, um, I don't have these colours, but I already had a couple of these. Um, and, um, but these are the new packagings and I really like the bottom of them because you can see the colour and it's true to the colour. Um, me and Laura were actually talking about these and she was asking which ones, like, for her to get. And I said, um, Licking the Icing. Um, Licking the Icing is my favourite one. These are so moisturising. I love them. So she, they, I got, they gave me Ballet, I think it's called, Gangster and Mambo. So... Ballet was the one that I really, really wanted. This reminds me of my colour from my um, cream cup, which is my favourite colour. Please focus. Yeah, so that's like a, it's just like a soft pinky kind of peach colour. Yeah, I really, really like that one. And I'm pretty sure they have, at the moment, still three for two. I'm not too sure if they still have it or not. And then this one is Gangsta. I love this. It's like a neon purple kind of colour. I really, really like this colour. And then they, I got Mambo, which is just a nude colour. Um, I love nude colours. I don't really have a really good nude, but I feel like this is going to be my new nude colour. So the next two are the Maybelline Colour Sensations. I've got one in Pink Pop and one in Fuchsia Fever, which I think, I can't remember. I think Lauren was telling me about these. I can't remember. But this one is Pink Pop. Now that's my kind of pink. <laughs> and then the next one is in Fuchsia Fever, which is just this kind of deep, kind of reminds me of the Lime Crime lipstick I want, but yeah, I really, really love these colours. So that's all the lipsticks that Jen and Lauren got me. I really, really love these, and I'm going to get such good use out of them. Um, I just want to thank Yous again for sending me in. I love the little note that came with it, and to keep an eye out, Lauren, because you are both going to have a package that's going to Lauren's house for both of you. Um, so yeah, so definitely go follow those girls. They're such good amazing girls are such kind-hearted people so definitely go check them out so my trip in Queensland was pretty quick but sweet um, one of my friends there Angela I'm gonna give her a shout out <laughs> um, one of my friends Angela um, we are pretty crazy on spending when we are together um, yeah we're just crazy um, we always are kind of like tag team into Priceline and we just get a lot so I mean, it's kind of like split up day to day I'm going to split up day to day what I got and then at the end um, my friend Angela um, got the $60 spend $60 at Priceline and get the free bag and then she got some colours that weren't her colours and then she had all these like foundations that she'd tried that were too dark for her or she didn't like or she was just over it and I was like I'll take them off your hands so, so the first thing I got from the chemist was the Lumi Magic Magic I don't know how to say it, um, the Pure Light Primer, yep, just this one, <laughs> this cost me $16, it is $30 in Priceline and $16 at this chemist, I'm pretty sure you can buy on their online store and I'm pretty sure it's like $10 postage or something, I'll look into that and I'll leave a link below, but this was $16, they have like Revlon makeup for under 
um, $20. Um, it's just ridiculous. I wish I picked up more, but my luggage and whatnot, I didn't get that much. Um, so yeah, so this is just this and the L'Oreal True Match or the Lumi Magic Foundation is just like the NARS um, Sheer Foundation, She Glow Foundation. Um, I have just repurchased it instead of using the little sample anymore because it just did the job for me and I loved it. So um, yeah, mixing this with your foundation you will definitely get like a sheer kind of glow finish and um, for $16 um, it was for sixteen dollars, it was definitely worth it. Um, my friend Angela, she got the same, and she said that she really liked it. Um, so definitely try and pick it up. I wouldn't pay thirty dollars for it, but if you paid thirty dollars for it, then that's okay. But I wasn't going to spend thirty dollars on it. And I also picked up the L'Oreal Paris Lumi Magic Foundation Light Infusing Foundation, Flawless Skin as if lifted from within, Liquid Light Technology, and I got the Rose Sand. Um, I got this one when I'm faked hand, as you can see, it kind of blends in well with everything. So yeah, I got the um, Rose sand i wanted to get the n4 i thought like all the colors were the same i thought i could get like an n4 beige like my l'oreal too much but they didn't have that and i was really confused and i was like didn't get time to like look into it or anything so i just grabbed the closest color that i thought that i could work with um i really really like this um it's very i like to wear it dewy um and it's just a great finish um this was 16 dollars i'm pretty sure 16 dollars yeah um, I couldn't believe it. I wish I picked up more. I was so gobsmacked. Um, I've seen this everywhere and I've always wanted to try it, but I didn't want to spend like 30 something dollars on it. But for $16, he was definitely coming home with me. Um, I really love this and I really recommend this. L'Oreal um, Mascara, which I have just seen everywhere. Um, it's the Voluptuous, vol Voluminous, I don't even know what it's called, Million Lashes. Um, I just picked it up. This was $12 as well, and I love good mascaras. I love the wand on this because it's just so fat, and it's just so flexible. Like, look at that wand. Wow. Yeah. So that's all I got from the chemist. Um, I really wanted to pick up, like, the Ardell Lashes and stuff, but... Um, they're just the same price and price line and I didn't know Ardell was in price line and the chemist and stuff so I'm super super excited I don't have to buy it online anymore. I didn't buy that much from Priceline. Um, I did have some coupons and stuff which I did use on my little voucher thing. So the first thing I picked up was just the Bondi Sands when it was still on sale. This was $9.99 um, on sale and I had a $9.49 coupon thing for, um, for your sisterhood points, whatever. So I paid $0.50 cents for Bondi Sands. Let's all just take that in for a second. I paid $0.15 cents for Bondi Sands. Um, this is my favourite, favourite, favourite fake tan I have done at the moment. Um, I'm doing, I didn't do it as dark as I usually would do it, but um, yeah, I can't believe I paid 50 cents for Bondi Sands. If you are not a sister member at Priceline, get your hands on being a sister member and just the rewards are just so great, especially when you're spending a lot of money and you get that money back. It's just worth it. Um, I love this foundation. It's green based, as you can tell from my hands. It does, it's not orange, it's just really, really nice and tanned. The next thing I got was the dry shampoo with the hint of colour, like, it's for like the blonde one, I don't even know. It's just a Batiste, um, dry shampoo and it's a blonde one. Um, I like this better because if I have, as you can see, I have, um, high regrowth because I have to get my hair done, but my hair is super damaged at the moment and I'm just trying to get, make sure it's healthy before I go back and get it done because, at the hairdressers because I don't want it to snap or anything. So the two things I got that are from Models Prefer, and this is just the Models Prefer Lines, Conceals and Highlight Magic Multi-Purpose Pencil. This was $9.99. I just use this in my waterline. Um, where else do I put it? Um, around when I have like dark lipstick on, just to make it pop. Um, I really, really like this. I saw this around and I was just like, just picked it up. What the hey? And then I just picked up this um, Models Prefer Airbrush Concealer Brush which just looks like that and I love this because it's a dome and I can just get in there with my concealer and just like blend it all in. This is a great brush. It's my new favourite brush. Um, this was I think $15. I'm not too sure. I think it was $15.
two things I picked up were some NYX lip liners. Um, I don't have any NYX lip liners. I just got Tangerine and Dolly Pink. These were $3 each um, just from a local market. Um, just a big makeup store that was um, selling like NYX products and um, L'Oreal and stuff like that. Pretty cheap. Um, I think they I don't think they were discontinued. I know there was dis some discontinued. They also sell, sold like LA Girl and stuff, but I'm not a big fan of their products. But yeah, I just picked up two um, NYX lip liners. I picked up were the Chi Chi palettes. Um, I'm just going to talk about the first one I got. This was the Rich Gems set, and I got the Rich Gems palette. And I got the blush, and then I got the four lip little lip glosses which are they're all right like I'll probably get some good use out of them but and I just got the four lip glosses and it said valued at maybe $34 I think on the box I got this and then it was it said $12 on it it was the last one there so I grabbed it I was happy to pay $12 for it I went to go scan it and it said $8 and I was like what the shit $8 like all I cared about was the palette like I just love those colors that are in that palette um, I don't have any Chi Chi palettes and I've been wanting to get one. I just didn't want to spend like $22 on the palette. Um, I am a bit of a stinge, but yeah, I'm so glad I picked that up. So I got that and the blush. They are my new favorites. Um, yeah, if you didn't know, um, Target was having like a Chi Chi sales. I was going to get a lipstick, but like they didn't have any really nice colors. Um, I already have two Chi Chi lipsticks that I really, really like. Um, I just haven't been able to find a color that I really like. And every time I go to test one, they always ruined or something and I was just like, uh, so um, yeah, they were they were eighteen dollars, and I think they went down to sixteen dollars or something. I can't remember what price they went down to. They went down pretty cheap. So yeah, and then the next palette, and then I just brought one of just the palettes, and um, I just got the bases palette. This is what I've got on my eyes. I've got this color here on the end, and then this color here in my crease. Um, I really really love this palette. It's pretty simple. It's probably going to be my new go-to eye palette. Um, I might do an eye look with this um, this week just to show you guys how I like it. These are so pigmented, so creamy. I've never used anything like this before. Love, 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 love. So I'm going to quickly add in um, what my friend Angela gave me that um, she used and didn't like or just used it once um so she gave me the Rimmel Match Perfection Light Perfecting Radiance Foundation in True Nude that she got in the bag from um that she got in the bag from Priceline um she's really I'm sorry girl but she's really really pale and this is yeah um, yeah, so that's why she gave it to me. Um, so that's brand new and I can't wait to use that. And then she, she gave me, I don't know what one, but I think it's this one, the um, Fresh BB um, in Medium Deep, which I probably won't use because it looks really dark. Maybe I can get away with it with a fake tan, but yeah, I wanted to try some BB creams. And then she gave me one of her ones, which um, she, I think, just used once, or well, she used everything once. And this is just the same one, but in fair. This is probably going to be in my actual skin tone. So I'll probably be able to get away with just wearing this when I have no fake tan on. Then I got, then she had two of the Fit Me Maybelline foundations in 235. Um, I haven't used these. Um, she said that she used them once and didn't like them. So she gave me two of hers. And then um, just two of these foundations. This one is the Maybelline Dream Air Foam thing that you shake up and it foams up. Um, which I really, really wanted to try out. But, like, it's a full bottle. Like, she's just crazy. This is the pure beige. I'm usually, like, a beige colour. So, really excited to use that. And this is just the CoverGirl Advanced Performance in I don't know what colour this is in but it's just one of the Colour Girl foundations. I used to use this in high school. Um it's pretty full so yeah she's a bit crazy. Then she um also passed on just the Napoleon memory foundation tinted moisturizer. I don't think these have a colour but it's like a deep colour so hopefully it will look alright when I don't have like not feeling like a foundation day. Uh, maybe this will come in handy so yeah that's just a napoleon set i think these are just from big w um then she also gave me the revlon whipped mousse or color stay whipped mousse 
foundation in nude um i've been wanting to try this out for so long now and it's still full like she just is just crazy so maybe if i like this i'll pick up a brand new bottle she also passed on a uh, maybelline uh, blush in dusty rose i've just got it like all packed away so i'm just pulling it out of my drawers and then she just passed on just the matte stay rimmel powder in translucent um yeah it looks pretty pale it'll be translucent i'm i really love the stay matte so i'm gonna love that and she also passed on the color stay powder in light to medium which i wanted to try it as well so she is just crazy um i can't believe she, that she's just handed me all this foundation she's got she's just crazy so thank you angela for passing them on i'll definitely get good use out of it so now i'm just going to jump in to clothes now um i told i was meant to do my part three haul which is going to be my iconic stuff but i'm sending some stuff back because it didn't fit or it was too big or something but um yeah so i think i'll just leave it or i'll just show you guys in one of my upcoming hauls but the first one of the thing i did get from iconic which i want to share with you guys because it's my new favorite handbag is just this handbag from iconic when they had their sale um this is like a zala bag yeah it's a zala in there um this was a six dollar bag and i got it for like fifteen dollars and i just love it i took it away with me and i just love like the nude color of it so that's what it looks like yes so yeah the next thing i got was some clothing pieces i didn't buy that many clothes because um yeah like i have so many clothes so the first thing i got was this shirt that i'm wearing now i'll show you guys you probably can't see the bottom of it this it's just got this age on it and it was floral um i got this from factory they were having a bit of a sale and this was four dollars so holla and then from cotton on they had a sale as well and i just got one of these little kimono things it's kind of got black and lacy and whatnot this was only said so, oh 15 it was only 15 and this is a size and medium because i don't like them too big and i just like like how short the arm it is i think my friend angela has this and I've, she always wears it and i was like i need to get one so yeah i grabbed that and then with when you go up to the counter they had like seven dollars with purchase and you get a scarf so i just got a white scarf because i don't have a white scarf and then also from Factory, I just got this plain grey t-shirt with these kind of um, mesh lines in it. I thought it was really, really cute for winter to layer with. And these are all a large because I like them big as. And then this one is just a grey... This one is just a grey t-shirt with a floral print on it and i'm pretty sure it just says cali um i just thought it'd be really cute to lay with in winter so that's all i got when i was away um it's not that much um i have been naughty and did some online purchasing so there will be another haul in store for you guys um i really really hope you guys are enjoying my haul videos and um i'm really sorry again for my whole mia and missing in action not being on here and filming and having videos up um yeah i'm really sorry and i also really want to thank um lauren and jen again um words can't explain how thankful i am for you um for sending me that you have just made my whole month so much better um and yeah i can't wait to meet you guys i hope you guys enjoy yours that will be coming shortly um yeah just thank you guys and thank you for everyone for your support and for subscribing to me and liking my videos and watching my videos it actually means a lot you are letting me or allowing me to um, live my dream this is what I want to do this is my passion um, okay it's getting too full-on but just thank you guys um, so I really hope you guys uh, will enjoy the next upcoming videos I'm sorry about my hands again I hope I didn't freak you out but yeah I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you guys in my next video bye Without you, I got